everybody and welcome to this video which I am just filming the second time because the first time it was completely out of focus. So today I am having a beauty haul for you. I'm very excited about it because I got a few very very nice pieces that I am now about to try out. So um, I ordered on Douglas or Douglas or how you want to call it and I ordered on Feel Unique. So I have two little parcels I want to show you today. So I will start with Douglas. Um, I got a few lovely pieces there. First I got two um, face face skincare products. The first one is by a brand called Venus Perfect Face Care and this is a serum and this is the Aqua 24 face serum and this is rehydrating and regenerating. So the little package says face serum a real moisture booster. Gives dry and dehydrated looking skin new suppleness and vitality. Stimulates skin cell renewal and prevents dehydration lines. Application apply morning and evening under your usual skin care. Now this looks very promising and very nice and I can't wait to try it. The other one I actually ordered for my mom and this is a um, face water and this is the Freshen Up Face Water, Rose Water with Natural Herbs by the brand on En Route or En Route or however, the Organic Drive. And this is actually vegan and organic and it has several seals up there what it is. So this is a Fresh Up Face Water and the packaging says quickly releases a refreshing color enhancing effect. Your face will look fresh and rested, paleness minimized. Application, just spray directly onto the face or apply to splashes on the hand and moisture the face. Now, face waters like this are very, very handy, especially in the summer when it's very hot and you just need a little freshen up for your face. If your skin starts to feel a little bit dry or tight or something like that, a face water is very nice to work against that. And I actually have one by the Body Shop, which is a face water plus a uh, makeup setting spray and that is perfect because you can just really spray it over your face even if you wear a full face of makeup and just freshen up. Now the third little like skincare product I have here is by Glam Glow and this is the cutest teeny tiny size of it and this is one of the thirsty mud hydrating treatments and I actually wanted to try the Glam Glow brand for a pretty long time now because I heard a lot of good things about it. And um, this was like a special offer for people who have like a Douglas card, which is kind of a membership card of the whole uh, company thingy. Several companies have them, you probably know. So let's see what the packaging says. Apply an even layer to clean skin two to three times per week. Face, knife and decollete. Leave on for 10 to 20 minutes, wipe off excess and or massage into skin. Perfect for day, night or in flight. Now, uh, in my first attempt to film this video, I'll just open this freshly. I can do this now because it's already open. So, it smells very nice. It reminds me of something, but I cannot put my finger on it. It smells very nice though. It is like a brownie, brownie kind of color, which is not the nicest thing. But uh, it looks good and I can't wait to try it. So, finally can try Glam Glow. Of course, um, the bigger parts are pretty expensive, I think, like 40 euros or something. And this little guy, I think, was about 8 or 10 or something. The most exciting product of this haul is this one. This is the NYX Con uh, Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. And I wanted to try this for a very, very long time now. And finally, now I got it and I convinced myself that I need it. Now, uh, basically you get um, eight shades in here for contour and highlight and the main reason I wanted to get this is because I don't have a proper like contour makeup product. I only have like bronzes and with bronzes I do my contour. And also I don't have like a huge diverse choice of highlighters and I wanted to change that too. So this here says, define your features like a pro with our 8 color refillable highlight and contour palette. Seamlessly blend those soft and pigmented powders to emphasize your best features. So basically what you get, I think up here you have a highlighter and I think these are the kind of highlighting shades and on the bottom you have the um, contouring bronzing shades for your cheekbones and your nose and everything you want to contour. And I'm very excited about this. I heard a lot of good things and I'm completely obsessed with the NYX brand at the moment. So I can't wait to try this. Looks good. And to emphasize the fact that I'm completely obsessed with NYX at the moment, I have three more NYX products in this little package here. 
Now, first of all, I have a little concealer. Basically, because I have not a proper concealer, and I have kind of an issue, kind of something, um, which makes me use either foundation or uh, concealer. Concealer, that's how it's called. Um, especially in winter, when my skin is already very sensitive and dry and needs special treatment. Um, I think too much per product on the skin is not very good so at the moment I only use like foundation and skip the concealer part I don't know why it's not very like clever or smart or anything because uh, I already have these bags on my eyes which nobody wants to see including me but I don't use concealer when I use foundation I don't know why now uh, I have this because I wanted one uh, a new one to try out I heard a lot of good things about this concealer this is the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer and finally I have a concealer which is light enough for my skin in winter when I'm going really pale. Um, I got this in the color Porcelain which is I think the lightest color you can get and I can't wait to try this because it looks very nice. And the last two products in this little box I have here is also NYX. These are two of the NYX Lingerie uh, liquid lipsticks and um, one of them says professional makeup and the other one does not. I don't know why there's any difference. I just realized that. Now I have several of the Lip Luxury um, liquid lipsticks now and I'm very happy about them. I love them very much. Um, the range itself is matte lipsticks um, and I'm very happy that I got it. Now um, embellishment actually I got embellishment and push up. With these two colors I got. Embellishment actually is a color which I had to convince myself to buy it because I'm not very convinced with everything which is not like a normal lip color. I'm not going very far out in trying special colors like blue or green or something. And I'm also not a biggest fan of having two pale lipsticks. Now this is a very unusual color. It's more of the grayish purpley nude side I would say. And I actually had to push myself to go over the boundary of myself that I not only wear nudes or reds or like dark gray purples or something like that. So I'm very very proud of myself that I got this, that I got out of my comfort zone. Just a little step, one step at a time, and that's all I can do. And I got this. Um, I actually already tried it and I actually like it. I'm not 100% sure I don't feel like 100% comfortable in wearing it. But I like the color and I'm very proud that I pushed myself out of my comfort zone and tried an unusual color like this. The other one is more on the usual side, this is push up, this one on the beigey, light, like, um, nudie side. I like it very much, it's one of these colors I love a lot lately, one of these matte, like, brownish nudes with, with this, like, a 90s touch to it, and I enjoy very much, especially MAC lipsticks. I have Whirl and Bella Teddy, and these two are my favorite colors at the moment um, for my lips, and this is a similar one, I think, to Whirl and Teddy. This is everything I ordered at Douglas and now on to my Feel Unique package. Um, I have a few little bits and pieces here I wanted to share with you. Okay, um, what do we have in here? Now first of all, a product I am not too sure if I'm going to keep it or not. I will probably, I want to send it back but it's always very difficult if you want to send back products and so on so I don't know what to do. Um, this is uh, by the brand Elizabeth Arden and this is one of the beautiful color luminous lip glosses. Now the packaging already looks very nice um, but I got this in the color Coral Kiss and I'm very very not sure if I like the color. I haven't unpacked it yet, of course I don't know if I'm going to keep it and um, I cannot unpack it and try it out if you cannot keep it. I don't know what to do. Um, but you have a little window where you can see the color and it looks very very glittery and I don't like glittery lip products. I just don't like them. I already don't know what I would do with this trend lately where you put glitter on your lips. It's just, I don't like it. Um, the color itself looks very lovely. It looks a little bit like the Tanya Burr I found Emo lip gloss which is one of my favorites of all time. So that's not a problem but it has this very like strong golden sparkle to it and I don't know what to do with it. I'm really not sure. It was a great value. This was 11 52 so normally I think they are around 20 euros and it's amazing but even if I saved like 10 euro on it I still paid 11 euros so I don't know what to do with this so never 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 ever order lip products uh, which you don't know or which you don't know if you like the color or the brand itself I don't know just don't do it 
Um, like the second product I got here is uh, by, the Tanya, by the brand Tanya Burr Cosmetics. This is one of her um, lip glosses uh, in the color uh, Martha May. This is actually one of the, the matte lip products, which I think have been um, uh, part of the Soft Luxe collection. And I know that I like this because I already have the small mini size, which came with the Pretty Unstoppable palette. So I knew that I wanted this and I wanted this for a very long time and now finally it's back in stock on Fionique so I got this. But with this one from the Elizabeth Arden, I don't know the brand, I don't know if I like the colours, so I don't order anything online if you cannot send it back. You have to try out colours you don't know if you like them. So I don't know what to do with this one. Okay, what else did- ah, oh, yes. Another Tony Burr Cosmetics product. This is one of her nail polishes in the colour Penguin Chic. This is amazing, I paid 1 euro 22 for this. This is like, I don't even think about it, whether to get it or not. I just got it because I know that I like the colour. And I know that I like the brand and you don't think about it, an amazing brand like Tony Burr Cosmetics if you pay like 1 euro for it. So this is the nail polish I got. The Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder. I wanted to get this for a very long time. I had it, I think, one or two years ago. I had one which I think was the third or the second color. I got this in the color Transparent, which I wanted to get for a very long time now. I love the Stay Matte Powder. It's an amazing product, especially what you, for what you pay for. So, very excited that I finally got this. Okay, two more products. Uh, one I'm having here is by the brand Bourgeois. This is one of the Radiance Reveal um, concealers. I wanted to get this for a longer time now, but I never did because I never was to show it better to like it or if I not like it, I don't know. Uh, I got this in the color Ivory and I'm very excited to try this. Um, I haven't even opened it yet. This looks very nice and I heard the best things about it so I can't wait to try it and I think you're going to like it. And the last product for today I'm having here is again by the Brandnex because I'm obsessed with the Brandnex and I can't help it. So um, I only have bronzes which is which are kind of shimmery or glittery or something like that, like um, the Tanya Burr one and the one of her cheek palettes. Um, and I really wanted to get a matte one and now I have one. This is the NYX matte bronzer. I got this in the color light because I kind of tend to be a little bit heavy handed. Uh, with bronzes and I don't want to be orange so if I want to look like a carrot I can dress like a carrot and that is why I got the light one because then I can build it if I want to have a darker bronze tan but I don't have to worry if I look too bronzed if I am a little bit heavy handed I haven't opened this either but I can't wait to try it and yes I am very excited to try all of the products. I already am done now these are all the products I got I'm very sorry if I rushed through it because I don't have any time, I have to leave very soon and it's now half past one and hi, I'm very late. Um, yes, I hope that you liked this little video. If you want to see any of these products reviewed on my blog or on this channel, leave a comment down below. Also, if you do want to see any of these products in a makeup tutorial or something like that. Also, don't forget to let me know what you think of the products, which one is your favorite, which yarns do you have, what do you think about them, do you like them or not, which is good, which is bad, and don't let, let me know what I should do with the Elizabeth Arden lip gloss, I don't know what to do. Yes, so <laughs> leave me a comment if you want to say anything, also if you like my little haul, my little video, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and also if you not don't like it, because I want to get a few thumbs up on this video. Yay! Um, also, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any uh, reviews on these products if I use them in a tutorial or if I ever include them in a favorites video so that you get all the details and everything you want to know about them. And yes, thank you very much for watching this video. I'm very sorry that I rushed through it. I hope it's okay. And I will see you in my next video, which will probably be next week. So take care, I hope that you're well and that you have a lovely week and that you had a lovely week. Past. You know what I mean. So I hope you're well and that everybody you like as well and you care about as well. And I will see you next week. Take care.